Guess what guys, just last week we listed a condo in an association that had a ton of comparable sales. We listed ours for $5,000 more than any other condo in light condition. Within four days, we had three offers, we were at highest and best, and our seller got a full price offer and paid zero in closing costs, which is nuts. Essentially what that means is we are in a full-blown seller's market. So Rachel, what should buyers be doing to prep for this? Buyers, that means you've got to be familiar with what you want in a home in the price range that you can afford. That way, when you see online the house that's the one, you're ready to pull the trigger after you go and see it in person. Yeah. Yeah, another thing you can do is something called an escalation clause. We're doing this a lot with our buyers right now. Essentially, it's a mechanism that you can put in the contract that incrementally increases your sales price above and beyond any competing offer, and then you can cap it. Now, the cool thing is to protect you as a buyer is we can force the seller to show us evidence of the competing offer in the form of actually seeing the offer, seeing the names of the people on the contract, even requesting contact information is necessary. So they can't just max out your offer without a legitimate reason, but this is a way that you can kind of cap your offer, but also make sure you can get as much out of that uh, ask price as you need to in order to win the contract. Yes, I love that one. Also, make sure you have a strong lender letter. Have a good relationship with your lender, get documents to them ahead of time so everyone feels super confident that you're gonna be able to close that loan. Another thing you can do on your contract is actually have a higher EMD, earnest money deposit. Go a little bit higher with that. Maybe if it's normal to do $1,000, do $1,500. That's gonna make the seller feel like you are very, very serious about purchasing their home. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing is make sure that you are aware, or better yet, that your agent is aware of what is important to the seller, right? We talked about escalation clauses a minute ago, but money is not always everything in a real estate contract. I've seen sellers actually take less money on the ask price in order to get a closing date that they wanted. In some cases, sellers might want a longer closing date because they want to sell this one but want to find their next home and only move once. So be sure that you know what's important to the seller and keep your offers simple, right? Keep it simple, silly. Something that's complicated and has a lot of words in it might turn off a seller, especially if they have multiple offers. So make it clean, concise, make sure you know what they want, and then find a way to meet them in the middle and grab the house that you really want. Yes, so guys, whether you're looking to buy, sell, build, or invest, we are that fit team. We are professionals in real estate and passionate about people. Let's go.